Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, if you've never watched us before, we are with a Makers Studio. And we have a tagline here and it's called Crafting a Beautiful Life. We love showing you how to make things that you can enjoy in your home. And we love having really positive, encouraging messaging. And so mm -hmm. today we're excited. We always get excited because we like to introduce new stencils. These are our favorite days. And by the way, so my fun. name is Amy and I'm, I'm here with Michelle. And so this is a great new stencil and it is all about different scripture, which I have to read this and I know y'all are like, it's backwards. Um, but these are different words basically and sayings that are pulled from scripture mm -hmm. um, that you can use in a lot of different ways. Today we're going to show you how to make a t-shirt, how to make a platter like Michelle is holding with our ceramic paint. And we've got all kinds of things like books. notebooks and the little passport bag. Cute little passport cute little bags. bags. Love that. So Love cute. It. So, but be, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Love that. Love, Love that. it. Hustle hard and pray harder. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. That's probably my favorite. Yes, look at that. What a reminder. So we love the fact that you can take the scripture to the words of encouragement um, and have them on different places in your home or your clothes or your tote bags or your pillows or chalkboards or whatever. One, to be able to encourage your family, but also encourage yourself. Absolutely. Just as a reminder, it's like, that's right. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. Mm -hmm. Life isn't easy. Anything that's worth it is hard. Isn't, that's right. That's right. And so we just have to remember that. And the sun's going to rise again tomorrow. Sure so we will. just get to the end of the day. We've only been, we've been told the Lord's like, I'll be with you today. Let's get through today. Don't worry about tomorrow. So we need to remember that. Mm -hmm. I tell my kids that. I need to remember that myself. All right. So we want to show you... Um, some different projects and how to do them so as you pop on say hey, hey tell hey. us where you're tuning in from and if you're not familiar how we do this we give stuff away we love being able to give you free stuff by simply sharing right. sharing the video share the video tag three friends and we are going to send you Your this stencil absolutely stencil. free as well as Oh, we're this passport, passport bag. bag and guess what else we're going to send you love it we're going to send you a t-shirt so it's, it, a, it's a good it's happy. a good it's a good happy it's a great happy <laughs> it's great something to be able to um get a freebie in the mail and all you have to do is share the video so sure all day bad. wednesday all day thursday all day friday and then friday afternoon uh, we'll be announcing the winner on this Facebook post, so that way you want to be sure and watch oh, for your name to be able to pop up. And two, sharing is caring, so you're just showing your friends a great video and how to create things, and then continue to share the message from Maker Studio. That's right. All right, so let's do this. Are y'all ready? All right, so Michelle, let's show them how to create a cute platter first. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. All right, so we're going to turn this down. So as you hop on here, just say, hey. And we, I love to know where you're tuning in from. And then, of course, if you ask questions, we can answer them for you. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go back on Facebook. So we will be putting this on the website later. And so we've got, we do these recipe cards. Look at this. So you've got the recipe card that will be a step-by-step -step in order how to be able to know how to do it. Absolutely. And what supplies you need. Because so, you have a whole, whole supply list. And this, you know, we love going to Target, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Ikea. estate sales, Ikea, and we call them hacks. So this is a Target hack day. This is from Target or Target. And it's the Target brand, that threshold brand. So they're so inexpensive. Begin with the dishes. So they're inexpensive. And then that way you can really make something that sets you apart. So when yes. your friends come over or your kids are sitting down for dinner or your grandchildren mm -hmm. and it's like they they so read that one of a kind happy yeah and so it's like i love the fact when you're serving food with this or maybe you want it as a platter you know in your kitchen to be able to have as a reminder but they're like nana what does be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire mean what does that mean what a mm -hmm. great conversation those are opportunities that make a difference Absolutely. in a child's life. And maybe it's something that you need to hear yourself about being fear. 
fear less. Mm -hmm. Fear is one of the main things that keeps us. It cripples us it from cripples us. being who we are created to be. Mm, we don't want right. that. No, no. We want us to be all of us. This is, mm. and if you're tuning in, we say this is our tribe. Somebody said earlier, uh, hive. our hive, <laughs> but we say it's our tribe and we want to, iron sharpens iron. We, mm. we can speak into each other's lives in such a way that yes. not to hurt anybody's feelings, but to encourage one another because we all need to hear words and true friends are transparent Amen. and they will sometimes say hard things because we need to be fearless. Sorry, guys. We need to be fearless. And we, fear is not going to define who we are or what we do. Mm -mm. All right. So, Michelle, let's do this. I'm going to turn this down. So, continue to say, hey, tell us where you're tuning in from and share this video because we're going to give away the T-shirt, the stencil, um, and the passport bag because I'm ready to go traveling. What about y'all? All right. All right. Let's do this. So I'm going to turn this down. You're going to be doing some traveling, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to set the recipe card right here beside us. Just to kind of remind everybody we've got that. So that way you're going to be I able to use it. cut the stencil. This is a really long stencil. Very long. So I cut the top off of it because this is the one that I'm going to use for this design. And I'm actually going to do it upside down. That's going to be so helpful. You know, the thing is, too, as far as telling people... The, um, when you look at these stencils too, don't think about it just that you have to do all of them. Of course, we love this because of the messaging on it, but you could just have a t-shirt that said, be fearless. Absolutely. You don't have to use the whole thing. Now tell them what you're doing. Okay. We set this off register. Um, as you can see in this one, it's not right in the center because we created these pinstripes with painter's tape. So I'm giving myself plenty of room to create um, the pinstripes. And I'm just working on placement. I don't want any bubbles. And so because I am going up on the edge of this plate that we have, because it is a little rounded, I am working out all the bubbles so that I don't have anywhere that my ceramic paint is gonna go up under. And that's what I'm doing, just working on that placement. I'm going to pull that up just a bit because I have I think bubble. you think about just off register like that, off to the side to yep. where I think it adds a lot of interest to it. Absolutely. It makes it, it gives it character. Yes, totally. And takes it to that next level. That totally. We that's what we're so all much. about, crafting a beautiful life. All right, friends. So anytime you're working with our, a fabric or... Um, a ceramic, we always want, we say burnish it. You want it to lay down really well. That's how you're gonna get the deep detail and protect the rest of the design. We could use our new spreader, couldn't we? Yes. Oh, look, look at you working out those bubbles. Cause it's kind of like wallpapering. It is. I mean, as far as, you know, having a tool that you can kind of lay that out and make sure that it's nice and, and even. These are our new squeegees that we've got a angle. You can go under tools. You wanna hand me those other two? Absolutely. I just wanna show them real quick before you get started. And then we have an ang a multi-angle and then a stylus. So that They're way you can awesome. get into um, all the crevices. Yes, so the colors that we're using today are peony pink, which is one of our newest ceramic colors, smoke gets in my eyes, which is an oldie but a goodie, and our metallic silver, which is also brand new. So um, it's kind of fun. I'm not gonna use red. No, it's it's, it's pink. Peony pink. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, got it. It is. We actually used pink in the design. Lumpy. I but love the metallic. I think they're so pretty. It's easier to pull them off of one of these glass surfaces, so that's why I put them on it. Whoop, and that one is always a little runnier. All right. I am going What's your to name? use this baby right here. If you want to, you can use your brush. You okay. can. You can always use our you mediums. Um, but I'm gonna do blue in strategic location. Well, not blue, it's actually like, it's a bluey gray. Sea foamy color. Mm -hmm. The thing is you do, when you're working with the ceramic paint, you need to work quickly. You do need to work quickly because it will dry 
and you do not want it to dry in the stencil. So you are, you're working quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you've got more time on ink, gel ink. And chalk art. And chalk art, but no, we even have to work kind of quickly on chalk art you too. Do. Um, and you will notice when you're working with the ceramic paint, it may have a tendency to um, stain the mesh color. That's okay. You can still reuse the mesh Absolutely. stencil. Of course, so many, many times, just wash it. We usually have a tub of water sitting next to us so we can just pop this stencil over into the water when we're finished. But um, it's your preferences as far as whether you can you want to work with the squeegee. Michelle's just on this one liking working with the brush. So that way you'll notice how she's mixing around as far as the color combos. You don't want to have it all the same color. Nope. You could even do an ombre on this if you, you wanted really to. Could. Which would have been really, really cute. There's so many options. So if you're just now popping on, please say hey, send us some love and tell us where you're tuning in from. And we are working with one of our brand new stencils. Um, hustle hard and pray harder. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Love that. And so we just love the positive messaging for this, for our families, for ourselves, whether it's on a journal or a platter or a t-shirt. Wherever so, you need to put wherever. it to encourage yourself. So, and here's the deal. And if you've never watched us before, if you share this video and tag three friends, we are going to put your name in for a drawing. So all day Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, your name will go in for a drawing, and then we're going to draw it and give it to the lucky winner. We're going to send you this passport holder. Can you see that? As well as the stencil and this adorable t-shirt. Look at this. It's super cute. It's like we could get quiet and just kind of sit here and do this because know, it's like when you start making that's well that's the joy of doing world. that you know we think about when we were children i know for me my mother one of the first things she did was expose me to arts and crafts classes and of course i was making clorox bottles and doing um uh, pipe cleaner tails yes. and making little pigs out of clorox How bottles cute. i remember that specifically from the summer and you think about how peaceful it is and how much joy it, br it brought us. And so when we're older, we love making things that we can use in our homes. And, and it allows us, um, you know, I wonder if we got gold, what if we switch to gold? Um, okay. Yeah. So to be able to take that love of crafting and making things mm -hmm. and being creative and allow it to be very therapeutic for us. Absolutely. To feed your soul. And make things for in our home that we can enjoy. And then what happens is a lot of you, you've gotten Etsy stores and you're making things and turned around and reselling it. And I am so proud of you. Should we put just a little bit more right there? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just, I don't want it to dry. We don't want to have a holiday and we don't want it to dry. All right, friends. You see any more? Like, I, think I think we're good. I mean, here's the deal. We can always come back and do it again. That's right. Yeah. It's always kind of scary Ooh. when you're doing this. It's like, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? We're just going to drop it. See, it really Sweet. allows you to be able. Now, you want to bring that over here and yes. show them? So we're going to show you. We want you to be sure you clean this. Look, we've got a little Tupperware. And I just uh, dropped it straight into the water. Yeah. So you can clean the ceramic paint with water. Absolutely. You don't have to add soap. But look how Michelle will use her fingers. And she's rubbing the mesh because the main thing we want to do is we're not concerned about it staining the mesh. Nope. We want to get it out of out the of open the area. It's yes. exactly right. You want to be able to get all those details open again for the next time that you use your stencil. So I'm not worried about staining. That is so not a big deal. No. As long as the ceramic paint is out of the mesh and nothing is blocked. See how that works? You can see all of my letters, all of my corners. And then that way we're just going to dry it with the back up. 
you don't want to use fabrics and paper towels and all that mm -hmm. kind of just stuff, just allow to it, it to be to dry up, and then that way um, you you'll keep the fibers out of the the yes. adhesive part, and then that way you can put the backing on it, put it back in the um, a sleeve and keep it all together, and then that way you're good to go. Do we want to let it dry for a few minutes and work on the shirt? I think so. So that we can come back and do the tape? I think so. Awesome. So what we suggest, guys, is really allow that to dry for like two hours. We'll come back and do the stripes. Mm -hmm. But then we really like for you to be able to put it in an oven. And on, I put mine on a cookie sheet and just bake it at 325 for about 25 minutes. Then turn the oven off and then let it cool down inside and of the oven. inside of the oven mm -hmm. to where you can hold it. And then that way it's cured um, and we keep it out of the dishwasher and hand wash it, but that way you can use it. Awesome. And it's a lot of fun. All right, we got these great tie-dyed tanks at Target for $8. $7.99. Weren't they $7.99 mm -hmm. or were they $8? Eight exactly. Okay. It's still great for it's summer. Great. It's great for summer. Oh, I love that color. I do too. The really pale purple. And we are going to use a difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. And are we using? We are using Hold Your Horses, which is our dark gray. Dark gray. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. I like the dark gray on a lilac tie dye. I think it's really Such a pretty, pretty color. Guys, I don't know about y'all, but it's like um, if you've got grandchildren or kids going to camp, this is the perfect thing to do to get inexpensive shirts and customize mm -hmm. them. Now, I guess you guys can probably see that. I have one of our um, stencil backings in there just to protect the other side of the shirt. You don't want it to, to give bleed me a through. surface, exactly. Now, I'm just looking. It's crooked. It's crooked. Yeah, I'm like, it's crooked. You need to come over. So now, if you're not familiar with the stencils, they're adhesive, but they're repositionable. So you just lift it up, lay it back down, and you might want to just measure. You still need to come over just a little bit more. And just measure the distance. There we go. To make sure you've got it nice and centered. That's better. Now, now we can use our squeegee. Yeah, buddy. Did you hear that? That sound? That little squish, squish, squish. So we're going to be using our dark gray ink, gel ink. You can use the gel ink on paper. You can also use it um, on the fabric, but you do the same way as far as treating this and getting this ready to be able to use is have it to where um, you let, allow it to dry for two hours. And then that way after it's dried for two hours, you want to heat set it. Mm -hmm. That way it's gonna wash a lot better. Yes. Just gonna Holding it at, at the that. top. Look at that. It's, so it's like silk screening. It's absolutely like silk screening. And I am actually using the back side. There's a solid side and then there's a beveled side and I'm using the solid side on this one. So many people say I'm not artistic. Guys you don't have to be artistic. This is just fun. It's right and these stencils make it so easy because you're not drawing it. You're not doing anything. You just need to stick it down and go to town. It's great. Stick it down and go to town. I've never heard Stick that. Stick it down and go to town. Guys, so if you're just now joining us and you're just we now popping on. make a Michelle-isms. <laughs> <laughs> we, please tell us where you're tuning in from. And especially if you're new, if you've never known about a maker studio before. My name is Amy and I'm here with Michelle. And we're showing you how to craft a beautiful life. Because all you have to do is share this video and tag three friends. And we're so going to be easy. giving away this stencil along with a um, bag that we've made, along with a t-shirt. So that way, all you have to do is uh, share, and we say sharing is caring, and we're gonna be giving this away. We give away Don't all kinds of freebie. We go rogue, and we start giving away all this stuff. And it's so much fun for us. And people get so excited when they get them. It's I like Christmas. I know, I love it. I love it when they repost when they get something. They're like, look what just showed up. I did that. It's okay. My bad. All right, friends, looky here. Look at that. Love, Love that. 
Now, you know, here's the thing. It's hard to get really cute t-shirts with great positive sayings it on really them. It really is. And we want to be able to have that for, to give as a gift, to be able to give a friend, to have for ourselves, to be able to give our grandchildren, whatever. I mean, what a great message. I do love that. That's like, encouraging. Really, yeah. That dark gray on this Target shirt, this is an extra large, it was $8. So you can make some really cute clothes, some white denim shorts, a little white denim skirt, or cute. some uh, white denim pants, jeans. Would, would be, be absolutely adorable. Yes. I love white pants. Yes. I just, I wear them all the time. And then, we're not gonna go over this today, but this is just a cute little- Using the last second muslin, of the stencil. Mu mu muslin, a uh, passport bag. They're so that. cute too. Love that. And you know, we forget about the messaging. When people are looking, people are looking. You're standing in the grocery mm -hmm. store, uh, going on a trip, you're getting your gas or whatever, they're looking. And allow the messaging on your t-shirt or whatever to be something that would they would incur, maybe you go, yeah, forget about that. Yeah. I need to be reminded of that. Yeah. Um, it's our way of just being quiet, but also kind of Loud ministering to people. At the same time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's show them how to create the stripes. Do you think okay, we can do yeah. that? Let's go back to our platter. So you want to share this video. Look at this, because you're going to be able to get this cute t-shirt and the stencil. Dry enough to at least put one stripe on there. All right, so we're going to turn this down. We want to be able to show you uh, to continue with this platter really quick. So let's go over this. How we did it off register to be able to make it look like this. So you're just gonna create these stripes with painter's tape. I usually get this 3M painter's tape. It sticks a lot better than just the cream painter's tape. It's not as sticky. Like the masking tape? Yes, you mean? like a masking yeah. tape. Yep, this is more like a paint tape. This kind of dip in there is making it hard. It is. Well, and the fact that I let it stick to itself. There's no sticky there. We need a new piece. We need a new piece. I'm gonna do it this way this time. I'll be disciplined. And... Okay. I'm gonna have a litter, litter, little puckering on that back side because I want the stripe to be straight. And it does have to go up the side of the plate. So I'm worried about this outside edge right here being straight. I'm not worried about this puckering I have back here in the back. Awesome. And I'm gonna make a wide stripe first. It's not super wide, it's just wider. I don't know if you watched guys, but we did this, this same kind of technique on using painter's tape to be able to create our striping. We did a t-shirt with this on a yoke last week. We did. You can go back and watch that video, but also there's just so many opportunities for you to be able to create like ticking looks or yes. stripes. You could make wide French stripes and you could, you could easily have a stripe go all the way down the platter in the center um, and do it in blue. And then that way come back and maybe do um, a saying or one of our scripture stencils or whatever um, on it. So just, this is about building your skill level again of using tape to be able to create these adorable little stripes. I'm, I'm all about stripes. I like stripes. There we go. Burnishing it good. So I don't go up under it. And then I am just gonna go back to the brush I had in my lap. I'm just going to make sure it gets all down in there. They are nice for that. Silicone. Like it, like it. Okay. All right, dear friends. And then I'm just going to paint this edge. I'm going to use the tape as my stenciled blocker, really. I'm and then we'll need to let that draw. We will. And then we'll come back right next to it. And make a smaller one. And to create our more of a pinstripe red. Mm -hmm. So that way you can see how that looks. Darling. Kind of looks Italian. I like it. Red, with the red, kind of a pinky red and the green. There we go. 
I was being kind of heavy handed. Just pulling it off. I would let that sit just a minute mm -hmm. and then that way you can pull your tape off. Let it probably dry on a couple of hours before you actually did your other stripe. Yes, I would too. That will look super. So it allows you to be able to make you. custom custom platters that you're gonna be able to enjoy Absolutely. all summer long. Love that. And the ceramic paint is so easy to use, guys. You can use it on glass, you can use it on um, ceramic Dollar Tree pieces, all kinds of things. Yeah. We've got it on everything around Pyrex, here. Pyrex, all kinds of stuff. Usually Pyrex, well, I don't etch Pyrex. No, can't etch Pyrex, but we can you put can the ceramic, use the ceramic paint, paint on it. On it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but I really would suggest baking it. I think yeah. that would, it's it all, we it say cure. no bake, but it cures a lot faster. It does. So. And it's better to be safe than sorry when you're curing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so be sure, share this video, tag three friends, because we want to, we want to have you in our drawing that we're going to be doing on Friday. And, um, we, we hope it's something that you enjoy being able to have really positive messaging for yourself um, as well as your family, to be Absolutely. able to tell the story of um, being fearless or yeah. learning to pray harder and being able to push through things because um, it is part of the journey, but also there's something even better on the other side. Absolutely. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you back here on Friday with a brand new stencil. Another one? Mm -hmm. Another one? What's she going to give away Friday, y'all? I don't know. She's giving away the bank today and Monday. I have a, I have a great day, everybody. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.